Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. Do keep in mind guys, these reads are for entertainment purposes only. So with that, just take what you need, leave what doesn't apply. If you should enjoy this reading, let me know by liking and or subscribing here today. Otherwise, you can always book a personal and private reading here with me. All those details on how to work with me and connect with me will be in the show more section just below this video. For those of you who are new, you may not be aware I'm also over on Instagram where I do general reads over on my IGTV channel. I know that's not going to speak for all of you, but for those of you who are curious and interested, feel free to browse those reads over on that platform. But guys, as you can see, I've already laid out the card simply for the purposes of saving time. I'm going to try and reduce it down to 10 minutes or thereabouts. Um, we will deep dive into these six cards in a moment. Um, but I just want to make mention that uh, towards the end of this read, we will draw an animal spirit card and an extra tarot card to draw in extra messages surrounding your special person or the person that you're thinking of coming into this read, okay, to close out the read. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the judgment card here. Okay, so I feel like with this judgment card that someone is wanting some kind of a second chance. Okay, but I feel for the most part with the judgment, and you've got the Queen of Swords here, I feel like you're making some kind of decision. Okay, you're taking your time to make um, a really important decision. Okay. I feel that you've kind of already de decided what it is that you're going to do, Taurus. Um, you've got the Queen of Swords here. Look, you could be dealing with uh, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But for the most part, I feel like with the Queen of Swords energy that you are giving someone the cold shoulder. You are closing off to someone or you're detaching from someone here. You know, with this Queen of Swords, her sword is down. So she is not open. Um, she is not open to communicating or talking. Um, I, I just feel like you're detaching and you're closing off. Okay. You're still thinking about this person. You're still wondering... Um, Will you hear from them or will they talk to you here? But I feel like this Queen of Swords, she's in thinking mode. Now, this Queen of Swords, she's looking to the Hermit card. You could be thinking about a Virgo. This could involve a Virgo for some of you here. But you are thinking about, you know what? I need to have some time to myself to really regroup and regather and recollect my thoughts um, I feel like for some of you, you just want to be by yourself. You're thinking, you know what, I'm detaching from this person. I'm detaching from this situation. I need some time by myself to go into my cave um, so I can really hear what it is that I need to hear. Okay, so going into hermit mode is about detaching from all the noise and just allowing yourself the space to really realign to what's important to you and, and what your soul wants at this time. Okay, essentially, I feel, Taurus, that you're shutting your energy down because you've got the Ten of Swords here. You're shut, essentially, you're shutting yourself down because maybe of some betrayal, Ten of Swords. Maybe someone here walked away from you, leaving you um, to feel all those feelings of pain and hurt. Okay? Um, maybe this person walking away from you or turning their back on you um brought up lots of fear anxiety stress and worry inside of you something that you don't need right now or something that no one needs at all right um so i feel like you're essentially just shutting down um mm. 
and deciding on what it is that you're going to do. I feel like for some of you, you do want to walk away from this connection. I feel like with the star card here underneath the hermit, you had high hopes with a Virgo um, or you had high hopes um, for things to work out here. I feel with this Three of Pentacles that this may have been a third party situation. Okay, so for some of you, maybe you were involved with someone who, um, you know, is tied up somewhere else. And maybe they promised you that they were going to walk away from that relationship to come towards you. Okay, for others of you, um, as soon as you shut your energy down, this person with the three of pentacles wants to all of a sudden, like work at this relationship, work at this connection. I feel like with the seven of pentacles here, you've waited, you've waited a really long time. Um, for this person to come through with star energy. I feel like, Taurus, you have invested a lot of time and energy into this relationship. You've done all that you can do here with the Seven of Pentacles. You've showed them love. You've showed them loyalty. You've showed them support. You, so for some of you, you took them into your home, you fed them, you bought them clothes, like you bought them gifts, right? Only for them to just give you the Ten of Swords. For some of you with the Hermit card, this person completely ghosted you. Okay, so we'll have a look and see what else is coming through when it comes to this person. If you are um, giving this person the cold shoulder or just essentially um, detaching from them, with the judgment card here, it's like all of a sudden they have something to tell you. All of a sudden out of the blue, out of nowhere, they want to tell you that they want to make things work with you. Maybe they're saying just give me a little bit more time here with the Seven of Pentacles, but I actually don't think you've got any more time to give, Taurus. So let's see how your person's coming through. Okay, yeah, interesting. They're coming through as the moth spirit. For some of you, with this being the element of air, this could be, like I said, an air sign. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Maybe this person um, went cold on you. Maybe this person went silent and detached from you. And now all of a sudden with the moth here, they're like, oh, now they're coming in hot. Okay, now it's like... They, they're coming out of the closet and realizing, oh, I want my Taurus. The chariot. I feel like this person that you're dealing with in love is going to pull out all the stops to try and regain or recapture your interest here. It may just work with the star card, but it really is just dependent on what your intentions are moving forward now. It could be a Cancerian that you're dealing with as well. Okay. Um, but I feel here with the moth that this person is attracted to you, um, is drawn to you, but I feel like it's more like a polarity that's happening here. It's like as soon as you shut down or you close off, guess what? You know, they're in their masculine energy and they're coming for you. They're leaning in. As soon as you lean back, they lean in. But with the moth, I'm getting like dirty mothballs. So I feel like there's something not clean about this person. And I don't mean hygienically clean. 
I mean like heart, on a heart level. Like there's something, I kind of want to use the word dirty with this person. Um, like dirty old mothballs. Like, like a has been like used it's old it's way past its expiry date okay so you might be like you know what i've been patient i've waited enough now it's like it's past its expiry date hmm so yeah, that's all I have for you today, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed this read. I hope it was insightful and helpful. And until next time, take care.